So I just wanted to spend a few minutes talking about something that is um, very, very personal in my life, um, and also I don't, I don't speak about uh, very often. I, I don't think socially it's something that ever comes up. But um, I was very lucky. I spent about 15 years of of my life training to be uh, an Olympian. My profession was wearing those little bud, budgie smugglers uh, and prancing around in trunks all day training about seven kilometers swimming a day and um, lifting a lot of weights. Um, and, and naturally, I, I ended up feeling that I was superhuman, um, especially when I won a medal in the Olympics in, in 2004. But um, I want to tell you about a, a time in my life. It was all happening in 2009. Um, I'd just getting married to my beautiful wife, uh, Thea, um, and we had, we had the most amazing wedding. And then... Um, I went away on uh, on on our honeymoon, um, and I just um, I just started to get a real ache uh, in 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 my testicle, and um, lots of people make jokes about honeymoon and aching and and all that stuff, but I I knew that it didn't feel uh, quite right. So uh, anyway, when I, when when I got back, uh, um, my wife and I we had a really high awareness um, around health because un unfortunately three years before. Um, my wife's sister Maxine, she uh, she was uh, diagnosed with cancer and died within three months. Um, so we, um, we, health was really high on our agenda. Anyway, I, I I didn't think that there was anything wrong, and with this swimming background and being extremely healthy, um, yeah, I, I just thought it'd be really simple. But I went to uh, the hospital, and um, I just thought they were going to check me out and. And that was it. I'll be in and out in five minutes. But uh, there was a bit of a surreal moment when I was laying down on the um, on this bed being uh, examined, um, and the fella just looked a bit worried. And I, I was, you know, I was, I'm a confident guy. I'd stop pesting, but I just tell me. He said, "Your doctor will tell you." I said, "Just tell me what's going on." He said, "Well, you got a tumor uh, in your in your right testicle," and um, I had tumor and knew that it was cancer and. Um, with this backstory, you know, you start to think all sorts of horrible things, don't you? So, um, freaked me out, uh, freaked my wife out even more. Um, I didn't know at that time that testicular cancer, uh, the survival rates were 96, 97%, and it was relatively straightforward from there. Um, but anyway, part, part of the procedure was to get my, uh, testicle removed, uh, my right one. Um, and yeah, that was a bit weird as well. Um, you know, to be in, uh, being a proud male and then um, not having kids at the time, you know, it's very, it's very scary to have to go through um, to have to go through that process, and um, it all happened really rather quickly. And 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 one thing that I didn't consider was um, fertility. I, so it sounds bizarre, right? I was um, about to get a testicle removed, and I hadn't considered that freezing sperm might be a good idea. You know, I, I was desperate to have family, always wanted kids. Um, and I can't, I can't even reconcile it now, but it, it didn't cross my mind um, at, at the time to do. Anyway, fortunately, um, a, a week before, one of the doctors said to me, have you, have, have you addressed the f fertility issue? And <laughs> in quite a comedy moment, the morning before the operation of getting my testicle removed, I had to fly around fertility clinics uh, trying to give a sample. Um, I actually managed to get into a clinic um, at 8.31 when it opened, um, did a sperm donation and was in the hospital for 10 before they removed my testicle. So I'm laughing about it now. But the point is these things, they need some planning. Um, and you know, we plan all sorts of stuff in life, buying a house, buying a car, uh, what clothes we're going to wear, but we probably don't give that much thought to as much thought as to planning, uh, our, our, our families. Um, and I, you know, I just want to share, I, I, I never really share, but I, I went through an incredibly, uh, sc scary time. Um, and especially so with my wife and, and, and her experience and, um, kids are the mo most important thing in my life. I've got four kids, um, the range of from eight to, to one years of age. I probably need to stop having children now, um, but I just love love them. And and the best moments of my life is is 
in my life is hearing them laugh and the family holidays that we go on and stuff. So for those people that are considering starting a family and and uh, planning their fertility, it's, it's, it's nothing to be embarrassed about or, or nervous about. Um, and any organization that um, helps people uh, plan their fertility, I'm um, I, I'm totally supportive supportive of. So I just wanted to say, you know, uh, to everyone, look after your own health, but um, yeah, especially to men uh, in this circumstance, because that's my my experience. Don't be embarrassed to check yourself. Um, look after your health uh, and ensure that you know you are planning your fertility. Um, thank you for listening for a few minutes, and uh, best wishes to you and your families.